What's up? Welcome to the video. In this one, we are going to do 3D text. Super easy and fast. It's going to work in both Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer. Hope you're well. I hope you're swell. I hope you're not wanted by the authorities or, or the law for being a criminal or anything like that. I worry about you. Uh, let's get started. First thing we're going to do is grab the text tool from our toolbar over here. Right there, artistic text tool. I'm going to click on that. I'm just going to click and drag out and I'm going to type 3D. And let's uh, center it right there. Let's uh, center that. There we go. And um, here's how we do it. So in the layers panel, you can see I have one layer, just this yellow 3D text. The first thing we're going to do is duplicate this text. So a couple ways to do that. You can either just right click your mouse and select duplicate. Or if you're on a Mac, you can hit command J. And if you're on a PC, you can hit control J. Now we have two layers, one on top, one on the bottom. So the one on the bottom, I'm going to make this pink color in the top right here. And when I do this, you're not really going to see any change in the canvas. But if you look here, yellow on top, pink on the bottom. Now, with the bottom layer selected, what I'm going to do is hit enter on my keyboard. And when I do that, you see I get this move duplicate window. Now, the first thing we're going to do is check off this duplicate box. I'm going to check on that. And I'm going to, the copies, I'm going to make this one just, let's say 20. Let's pick 20. Now, when we start moving these horizontal and vertical boxes is where you'll see the changes. So let's go horizontal. Let's start with two and two and see what that looks like. So there you go. We've already got a 3D text. It looks pretty cool. It looks pretty natural. Uh, if we go horizontal four, vertical, let's try eight. It looks like that. Uh, and you can change the distance here. If I put the distance, say, to two, it would look like that. If I put the distance to 15, it would look like that. So let's just try four, four, and we'll leave it like that. So that looks pretty cool. So now if you look in the layers panel, we have the top layer, which is the yellow, and then all these layers below, which are just slightly offset to make this give the 3D effect. So let's take all these. I'm going to click on the top version here, top layer, scroll all the way to the bottom. I'm going to hold shift on my keyboard and click on the bottom. So they're all highlighted. I'm going to right click my mouse and click group. Now that I do that, they're all in one group. So I can move this around or I could resize this uh, and they would all go together. And all my, if I click this little arrow, all my text is still there. So I can change it whenever I like. Let's delete that. I want to show you one more thing here. So if I go back to my text tool and this time I'm going to type the word uh, effects. Oh God, it's gone off the canvas. The video's ruined. Let's just shrink it. How about that? Nobody panic, huh? And I'm going to change this font to a different font. Let's go with um, this one. So I got this font here and let's change it to like a, like a yellow, like a yellow or something like, or orange. I like orange. Let's go orange. Okay. So I got this one, right? So again, first thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this layer. I'm going to right click and I'm going to duplicate. I have two versions now. Now the one on the bottom, I'm going to keep orange, but I want it darker. So I'm going to pull it towards here a little bit. So it's just kind of like a shadow almost. Let's try that. Now with the second one selected again, I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard. I get this move duplicate option and let's duplicate. And this one I'll do less. Let's do this one like 12 times and let's start changing the offset on this. Let's go four and six, maybe something like that. And let's change the distance a little bit more on this one, maybe to 10. And let's go change horizontal, sorry, back to four. That looks not great. Let's go to two and let's go here to six. I'm just messing with this to see what it looks like. So this looks pretty cool. Uh, I'm, I may change the color a bit, but let's go with this for now. Let's change the top version to like a brighter, a darker, orangier kind of thing. Maybe, yeah, maybe something like that. Now uh, with this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the very bottom layer here. I'm going to go to my a layer effects right here. I'm going to click on that. I just want to add a little shadow here. So what I'm going to do is go to outer shadow. I'm going to select that. And I'm just going to pull this out a little bit just to give it a bit of a shadow. It just gives it a little something. If you look on the, the top here, there's a little shadow. If I turn this on and off, it just has a little bit of an effect. So let's do that. So now we've got all that. So let's group all these together now. So I'm going to click on the top layer, scroll all the way to the bottom, hold shift, click on the bottom layer, right click and group. Now this is all grouped together. I'm going to hit this arrow to open this up. And one more thing I want to do. Under this effects button at the very top, the orange one here, this one here, I'm going to go back down to my layer effects here, click on that. And this time I'm going to add something called a bevel. So I'm going to click on the bevel in boss. And when I do it first, it's not going to look great because we got to change type from pillow to inner. When I do that, 
if I slide this thing, you can see it kind of gets a little bit more 3D. I don't want to do too much and make it like a balloon necessarily, but I just want a bit of an edge, a bit of a ridge there on that. And I can move this soft button too if I want to kind of like make it a little bit cleaner, blur it out a bit, maybe something like that. So that is our 3D effects using Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please tap, tap, tap that like button and uh, feel free to write, write about this in your journal. If you want to support the channel, you can subscribe and you can uh, s become a member, join the gang if you're not already a criminal. I was worried about that earlier. Um, and uh, it's five bucks a month and it helps support me and my habit of... Uh, I don't know, I don't really have any habits. I could pick up a habit though. I can get a habit if that, if that, if that interests you. Uh, that's enough for me. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the next one.